It wasn't really that long ago, that no one had ever heard of a microwave or a home computer, and movies could be watched at a movie theater, or on one of three network television stations, or on a big, blocky VHS tape that had to be rewound before you could use it, and that wore out to the point of unwatchability after about a half dozen viewings. Next few years will undoubtedly bring devices service and apps that we aren't even able to imagine yet. But in the process, there are a few products that will likely be made obsolete by new tech. Watch on to find out about what gadgets are most likely to be on their way out. Phone towers. In the last few decades, the idea of replacing cell towers with satellite technology did not make business sense. This was due to the high costs of launching satellites into space and the ongoing need to physically access the satellites for equipment upgrades. Then there is the problem with servicing broken satellites or upgrading satellites with new equipment to keep up with the rapid evolution of wireless communications. Fast forward to 2020, and there are plans in place to replace the need for cell towers with low orbit satellites. In May of last year, SpaceX launched 60 of a planned 12,000 Starlink satellites into low orbit. The CEO of SpaceX, Elon Musk, has a vision that the satellites will form a network providing high-speed internet service to consumers like you and us down here on Earth. And he is not the only one. CEO of Amazon Jeff Bezos pulled back the curtain on Project Kuiper, which is their plans to launch a 3,236 satellite constellation. Other companies with similar plans are OneWeb and Telesat. Technology is rapidly evolving and while it is unlikely the above-mentioned technologies will replace cell towers tomorrow, it is certain that one day in the future we will not need cell towers. If we look at history, our communications have always continued to evolve. From smoke signals to radio to the landline telephone. Cell towers have only been around for 40 years, which is only a generation. Will they be around for another 20 years? Not if Musk, Bezos, Qualcomm, Verizon and T-Mobile have something to say about it. Remote controls The TV remote control will soon be obsolete. It can get lost in the back of the sofa for eternity, and no one will remember. In the not-too-distant future, the stereo and climate remote controls will even follow it in the useless technology graveyard. The smartphones and tablets we use on a daily basis are set to get even more important, and they will take on an increasing number of tasks, to the extent to which we will wonder how we were ever able to manage without them. It will seem ridiculous that we used to have to get up off the sofa to change the channel on the television, or to turn up the heating, or to switch a light on. Things like Google Home and Amazon Alexa also can already control the lights or devices in your home with just your voice. Imagine how much that technology is going to evolve in 20 years. You can just tell your home assistant if you want it to be warmer or colder. Soon, you'll be able to wave goodbye to the remote control. Credit cards. Wallets will become unnecessary because there will be almost nothing to put in them sooner or later. In other words, everything in the wallet will be outsourced. Physical currencies will still be recognized, but credit and debit cards will be replaced by smartphones. If contactless payment with a credit card is possible, why not just use your smartphone instead for the same payments? Near field communication, or NFC, is used in contactless payments, and with an NFC chip in your phone and an app from your bank, your phone could replace your credit cards as a contactless payment device. If you lost your wallet, you could face a lot of problems, including identity theft. Phones, on the other hand, are secured, and even the phone's manufacturers and the FBI have difficulty hacking them. They can also be tracked with GPS if missing or robbed, unlike your wallet. Physical Media Music and movies have been shifting away from physical media in favor of digital downloads or streaming services for years. We've seen this through the fall of places like Tower Records and Blockbuster Video, while iTunes and Netflix have skyrocketed in popularity. The main reason this is happening is because of expense and comfort. Using the cloud to store files and be able to access content anytime you want is much more flexible than using physical media such as CDs or DVDs. Physical media is expected to see a significant decrease in popularity over the next 20 years as storage for smart devices increases along with higher internet speeds. Charging cables. One of the problems with all of the latest technologies that will eventually overtake everything is that it will need energy. Going out without charging your phone is a real nightmare right now. That being said, if you use your phone because it holds all of your personal information, credit cards, car insurance, and so on, it's important that you have it charged up at all times. Of course, this requires spending some time to plug the phone and other electronics into an outlet for a few hours for charging. To fix this issue, a few companies are working on technologies 
that will allow people to charge their devices without ever removing them from their pockets. Using radio waves, in particular. In about 20 years, this technology will be much more advanced, and charging units will be widely spread, allowing the smartphone and other electronics to be charged at all times. USB drives. People would eventually use the cloud only for data storage, making flash drives useless in the not too distant future. Because of their greater storage space, USB drives replaced floppy disks, CDs, and DVDs in the early 2000s. With its many advantages, such as its unlimited capacity and improved protection, cloud storage is quickly becoming a top competitor when it comes to storing and exchanging data. Car mirrors. Cameras are being used in an increasing number of vehicles. In fact, started in May 2018, all new cars sold in the United States must have a rear view camera. Cameras are expected to replace side view mirrors as well, in addition to the rear view mirror. Cameras are simply becoming more affordable, and the benefits of having a wider range of view, such as looking into blind spots, are becoming more significant. Finally, as vehicles become self-driving, the number of cameras equipped will grow, and because an AI computer doesn't need the mirrors to look around the vehicle, they will become unnecessary. Some even believe that, in addition to vehicles, mirrors will start to vanish from daily life. Instead, high-resolution cameras will be installed, allowing you to do close-ups, receive biometric measurements, and see yourself dressed in different clothes. This would also have decorative features because that big area in rooms that are taken up by mirrors could be anything on the screen. Passwords Unique passwords are a smart thing for your protection. Most users use about 3 to 8 passwords, all of which should be difficult for better protection, and half of which they forget, and have to reset on a weekly basis. Our minds have a tough time recalling complex patterns, such as those perfect for passwords, which, according to experts, should include a random order of uppercase and lowercase letters, symbols, and numbers. Passwords and PIN codes for internet and banking accounts will be obsolete in 20 years. Technologies are developing to the point that it now requires a variety of biometrics that are difficult to duplicate. Iris scans, voice recognition, fingerprint scans, face recognition, and even a scanner that detects veins in people's hands are among the innovations available. Aside from the abolition of passwords, there will be other, very innovative authentication features on smartphones such as phones that track behavior. Biocatch is a company that builds behavioral profiles focused on over 500 factors, such as how someone uses their device, how they browse a page, and which websites they use. If the phone is being used by someone who isn't you, it may be turned off or have its access disabled. Manual Transmission Cars It's difficult to match the excitement of changing gears on your own for car lovers. Whatever advantages a lightning-fast automatic gearbox can provide, the characteristic mechanical clunk of a shift lever falling into place, or the control of power with a quick clutch control, cannot be substituted. Unfortunately, the manual transmission is on its last legs. According to data gathered by CNBC, only 41 out of 327 new car models sold in the United States in 2020, or 13%, have a manual transmission option. That's a significant decrease from less than a decade ago. Perhaps even more startling is just how quickly this ratio has dropped off. In 2011, manual transmissions were available on 37% of all new vehicle models. It's not shocking that the number of cars equipped with a manual gearbox has decreased. Since more crossovers hit the market and manufacturers moved to hybrid and full electric systems, a shift away from the three-pedal setup became almost obvious from a product standpoint. We seem to have hit the point of no return. The hopes of a return are tiny, considering that consumers are just not buying new cars with manual transmissions, automakers are bundling automatic transmissions as standard rather than a luxury, and electrification is slowly catching up. In reality, demand for cars with manual transmissions has dropped significantly to the point that for some manufacturers has become too expensive to develop new versions for upcoming models. If we carry down this path, it will only be a matter of time before we see the manual transmission becoming extinct. Chemotherapy A cancer diagnosis is without a doubt one of the most dreadful things that could happen to someone in their life. Not only is it frightening and painful, but the therapy itself is extremely unpleasant, causing some people to feel that it would be easier to let the illness go on rather than undergo therapies that drain all happiness from the few remaining months of someone's life. You can imagine a day when chemotherapy is no longer the main cancer treatment. Don't get us wrong, having cancer is always terrible, but at least you won't have to suffer through months of sickness and hair loss. According to Business Insider, chemotherapy will be absolutely outdated in 20 years. 
Instead, personalized treatments based on the knowledge of human genetics would be the routine treatment. Genetic testing can be used to identify the cause of cancer and advise specialists on how to cure it. As a result, Cancer patients will have better survival rates and treatments that do not force patients to choose between death and a hardly livable life. That sounds like a fair deal. Predicting the future is complicated and mostly based on educated speculation. If you disagree with these beliefs, feel free to contact us in 20 years.